come to the to the wolf pack but uh, played well back they won seven in a row after we saw early in the season that's a sack Farrell pulling down Granger edge pressure Wurtz chased sacked by Farrell fourth sack of the season by Cleveland Farrell Here comes the pressure, and Cleland Farrell gets the sack, and Clemson takes over. And that's the fifth sack of the ball game. They're all coming off of that edge, and he's ferocious. This time here, just beating the tight end, manhandled him at the point of attack. Shot Wurtz was trying to squirt out of the back side of that pocket, but these guys are big, they're athletic. You see him change direction there like a cat, and still managed to come up with the sack, and the fifth for this Tigers defense. Marshall on the toss. They lose it again, loose ball. Clemson got it. Touchdown Tigers. Trey Lamar made the hit on the play. Take the dive back initially. You got to be able to take the quarterback, and you got to have an alley player that can play the pitch. Big hit by 57, Trey Lamar, and then it's just a scramble for the football, and Clipson is on top of it. Hartman in trouble immediately. Cleveland Farrell, it's the second sack for Clemson. All right, real quick. <laughs> I get the ball to number three, I know that. <laughs> They're going to run it instead, and nothing doing. Cleveland Farrell with the stop. Fourth and one. Stuffed. Cleveland Farrell leading the charge against Cade Carney. Instead, it's second and ten. Under three minutes to go in the opening quarter, and they're doing nothing on the ground. Ricky Person dumped by Cleveland Farrell for a loss of a couple. Which means, if you did the math, Dabo Sweeney said, as many 7-0 starts as the rest of the Clemson coaches all time combined. And, um, sometimes they have no idea, and we've done it for years, so it's pretty funny. What's the best part? Uh, just cheering on the team and being part of the game day every week. They're famous, guys. People were lined up for photographs before the game. Well, Francois loses the ball on third down and nine, so Florida State does nothing with the field position. They're going to have to punt it away. And you see the pressure. You just can't live in third and nine, and that first down drop, and it absolutely was. You see just the, the whole crew, and including even secondary members, getting involved in the blitz. Tanner Muse, I love it. The shoulder pad right into the belly of Francois there. But he can't run the football. Akers looking for a cutback lane. This time he lost a couple of yards. Great uh, balance of work and play on this Clemson squad right now. Doing work against Louisville. And there's the guy we just talked about. The ball came out. But it's ruled down. Wilkins there to sack the quarterback, Jawan Pass. It really zeroed in on him. Tight ends in the slot. Levy is in the game. Protection breaks down. And it's a sack. Perry is dropped by Cleland Farrell, who was on the ground, just reached out a big arm and grabbed the quarterback. And how he works underneath here. This is just an effort sack. He goes down, but he doesn't give up. To get to the quarterback, you got the best defensive line in college football. They get to him there without the pressure. Daniel Jones swung around, and finally he'll be dropped. We have rushing, right? It's mismatches across the board. Kendall Joseph wasn't able to get him on. Under some pressure, trying to escape, and he won't be. He'll be taken down right in the logo by Cleveland Furl. He is right here. He's just going to run the hitch route, and, and he's open for the throw. He looks that way, doesn't throw it, and ends up getting sacked. Need four. Pickett steps up. Can he escape? And the gap closed down quickly. Cleveland Furl and Wilkins corral him. It's fourth down. And a second keeper. And Farrell was there quickly. It'll be third and long. Here, I think he felt that he was going out, but he actually comes down. Watch the body language in 99. Looks like he gives him a little bit of an outside look. 